this one. Oh, hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you in a while. <sighs> I've been pretty busy this week and really just got back in the hang of things only this morning. I uh, had to pull an all-nighter to complete some of my side projects, and oh, I had to get this. Before I talk about anything, I want to first say a hello and a welcome to all the new people that's joined the channel. Hey, thanks for joining. I hope my content will bring you some sense of value, and if not, at the very least, some entertainment. For all the people that are already in my notification gang, hey, what's good? Real quick, there are two things I wanted to share with you today, and they both involve screencasting. The first one is this transition I do, where I go from my talking head footage to my Premiere Pro screencast. I think it's a really helpful transition and maintains the flow of things. It's pretty easy. What you want to do first is to import your footage into Premiere Pro. Then you want to do a screen capture, and while your screen is recording, you want to press play and let the footage play out. Then from there, you can just align the audio to that particular point you want the transition to happen. Scale down the talking head footage and cut when you decide to do a jump cut. There are many choices for software when it comes to screencasting, which brings me to my second point. I've done a collaboration with my friend Sean over at the Net Ninja. He does a series of helpful tutorials where he goes step by step, teaching you the skills you need for web development, from PHP to JavaScript. I know how helpful these tutorials can be because I relied heavily on them back when I was doing my coding bootcamp. He kindly asked me to make a series on the ins and outs of screencasting. So go check out the channel and go check out the series and send some love his way. I'll see you over on his channel. 